Two Israelis who were captured by Hamas on October 7th last year have been confirmed dead by the IDF. This comes as Israeli forces shrink safe zones in Gaza, with aid workers reporting dozens of casualties in the latest airstrikes in Khan Yunis. This is the moment two successive strikes hit a multi-story residential building in Gaza's Nuzerat. Smoke can be seen billowing from the buildings following the explosions. The attack comes after at least 37 people were killed and scores of others were injured in the latest Israeli attacks on Gaza's Khan Yunis. This is after Israeli military ordered Gazans to leave the eastern part of the city, warning it would launch an offensive after rockets were fired from a designated humanitarian zone. Casualties were brought to Nasser Hospital in ambulances and cars as relatives mourned those killed in the strikes. A family was sleeping and they hit them. They were children. This is the American Nazism. This is the Netanyahu Nazism. The situation is very difficult inside the hospital because there's no place for more patients. There's no space in the operation theatres. There is lack of medical supplies, so we cannot save our patients. The situation is critical. Another humanitarian designated zone, Al Mawasi in Khan Yunis, came under Israeli attack. Hundreds of people tried to flee with their belongings while the loud explosions and smoke of the shelling hit the area nearby. We do not know where we are walking. We are walking in God's vast land. Every day we are displaced. This is the seventh or eighth time we have been displaced. While we were sleeping in our homes, they started shooting at us, bombing from everywhere. The martyrs were in pieces and dismembered. They surrounded us, then the plane started shooting at us. Now, according to reports, the IDF has confirmed the death of two hostages, Alexander Dansij and Yagev Bushtab. Dansij was kidnapped on October 7th from near Oz, while Bushtab was taken from Nirim. It said that the IDF is investigating the circumstances surrounding their deaths and if they were killed by Israeli fire during their military operations. Local reports also stated that Hamas is in March claimed that Bushtab had died due to lack of food and medication, while Dansij was killed by Israeli fire. While these claims have not been confirmed by the IDF, it raises the question if they were killed mistakenly by the IDF. For all the latest news, download the Wion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.